In this episode of Forgotten Buildings, we are exploring this old traditional Dutch farmhouse. With its over 10 years of vacancy, decay has really began to creep in into this old house. Join us and discover the story of this lost farmhouse. While making our way inside, we had to move quickly and efficiently. This was due that we heard from other explorers that an older man is keeping an eye on the location. So after a quick sprint to the back barn, we got inside via this open door. Here we were greeted with just piles of old furniture and other objects. But well, we decided to not waste any more time here and head into the residential part. Here we are greeted by this unique sight. Stuff laying everywhere. And all of it on what seemed to be in a really good condition. So your first question may be, what happened here? And well, we had the exact same question. So let's try to find clues in the many remains of this miscellaneous person. So the first thing we really noticed in his kitchen was just how old school everything was. And how typical Dutch everything was. For example this shelf, which was still full of cans where you store biscuits. But we also did a rather creepy find. Zeker fuck. Oh, ik heb hem de maximale opwind tijd gegeven. So, with this newly acquired background music, we decided to head into the different rooms. Here we firstly got into the hallway, which still had the coats and a walking cane on the rack. So we could be relatively sure that the owner was an older gentleman. The next room was what seemed like the living room. Here the state of decay was heavy. The frame of the window was rotten through completely, which led that the glass was slowly falling to the ground. So the decay here was the heaviest around this room. In this room we also found a big clue in our search. This here is an ID of what we assume to be the owner. From this card we got to know what his name was, Derek, and his profession was a livestock farmer. Here it also stated that he was born all the way in 1921. So that is nearly 100 years ago. From this we could assume that the owner is probably not alive anymore. Next to this we quickly stumbled on another interesting find. These sort of artworks were from Australia. So in better times they probably like to travel to far destinations. Next to the living room was what looked like some sort of second living room or a guest room. Which once again is really cool to see. What especially caught my eye was this cabinet which was decorated to be a sort of altar for the Dutch royal family. After some research I found out that it was really popular right after the second world war. This was to pay respect to the liberation of Holland. Nowadays this tradition is kind of forgotten among the newer generations. However we also found a hand knitted poster next to it. I will cooperate in a free Holland. With this we got to the conclusion that this man was a very proud Dutchman. Next to this altar we found this. The old wedding photos of the lost owners. Above this another picture was located. This portrait of Derek was in his work clothes. In which he used to work on his farm. With this list of new discoveries we had one last place to check out. And that was the upper floor. Here we found the bedroom, which had this rather unusual thing next to the bed. This was this bowl, full of cracked shells of walnuts. What if this was his last meal, or did he just forget to clean after he was finished? This we will really never know. Next on the counter we found another thing. And that was this small paper with the name Julia on it, which was probably the name of Derek's wife. 
So with this extensive amount of clues, we got to the conclusion that one of the two had died. And with having no relatives, which were interested in taking some of the stuff over, this former life got perfectly preserved into this forgotten time capsule. It's always really strange for me to walk through these kinds of places. It's really more than just an abandoned house. It's in fact a whole life which strangely got forgotten throughout the years. With this, we will also conclude our explore. What the future will be of this place and the stuff is unknown till this day.